Thanks for choosing MindMeister. In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how easy it is to create your first mind map. First, I'm going to sign in with my email address and password. Now, after you sign in, you'll be brought to the MindMeister dashboard. Here, you can create and store mind maps and organize them into folders. To create a new map, you click here. We have a nice list of pre-made templates that you can start from, or you can start from scratch with a blank map, which is what I'm going to do now. All maps start with what we call a main or root topic in the center of your map. We'll call this one, Plan My Trip to New York. From that root topic, you can create sub or child topics. To do this, either click the plus button on the top of the map editor or use the tab key as a shortcut. In my new topic, I'll enter something important about planning my vacation, like things to see. Then I'm going to click enter to create a sibling topic, that is, another first level topic. I'll call this one Bookings, and the other one Schedule. Now, I'm going to go to each of my first level topics and enter some topics below those. To do this, I'm going to click on Things to See and hit the Tab key again. Here, I'll list the first place I want to visit, the Rockefeller Center. When I'm done writing my topic, I click Enter once to close the open topic, and a second time to create a new sibling topic on this level. Here, I'll add Yankee Stadium. Click Enter once and a second time, and lastly enter Statue of Liberty. Under Bookings, I'm going to write Hotel, Flight, and Yankee Game Tickets. Under the third topic, I can plan out my entire travel schedule, Arrival, Day 1, Day 2, Departure. And I'm going to deliberately make a mistake here by putting Ferry in here, which would really belong under Bookings, but we'll fix that in a minute. It's very easy to click and drag topics on your mind map, as I'll do with bookings here. And let's fix that mistake where I put ferry under schedule instead of under bookings. I can click on ferry, drag it to bookings, and it docks there automatically. You can also create a floating topic while dragging a topic away from the center, which is what I'm doing with my things to see topic now. The connection to the root topic disappears automatically. So that's how you sign in and create your first mind map. We think you'll find the interface very intuitive and easy to use. Thanks for watching and look out for more video tutorials for MindMeister.